Hey everybody, garlic scapes are in town. Hey everybody, it's Sarah the Urban Farm Girl and as promised, garlic scapes have arrived. Very excited about this this week. So some of you have never seen garlic scapes before and this is what they are. They are simply the flower stalk of the garlic plant. Many of the garlic scapes will form this little coil. Believe it or not, the entire thing is edible. And if you leave it on the plant long enough, then it will extend up straight. And then this up here will open up into a nice garlic flower. If you pull them off, then you not only get to eat the scapes, but it also allows the garlic bulb that's growing underground to become larger. But as many of you know, I love my garlic scape pesto. And so that's what I'm doing with mine tonight. And in my garden, I've got several hundred of these scapes that are just coming on. They're not quite this big yet. So I will be making a lot of garlic scape pesto to take me through the entire rest of the year. But today I'm gonna use some of our share. So we got a lot of parsley, so I'm gonna use some parsley leaves. I'm actually gonna throw some green onions in there. And I'm gonna use some oregano from my garden and I have a little bit of basil that I'm gonna throw in. I'm gonna use some salt, I'm gonna use some oil. And I've decided for my nut this week that I'm going to use raw sunflower seeds. We got about a pound of garlic scapes with our share today and I'm going to use the entire thing. And then what I don't use tonight with dinner, I'm going to put in jars and then I'll freeze it. When I chop these up, I'm just chopping them into three or four inch pieces so that they will not clog up my food processor. So these are fine the way they are, even if some are a little longer. And my food processor is just about completely full. I've got it up to the very top here. And I've just got the garlic scapes in here right now. And I'm not adding any oil or anything else yet. We're gonna grind this down and make some room and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. And this puppy is super loud, so I'm gonna not show all of this. Or I will, but I'm just gonna play music or something while we grind it all up. And I'm gonna grab my other camera so we can see this. That what I'm gonna do, Miss Hay Bale. But I need my Gorilla Pod. What did I do with my Gorilla Pod? Whoa! Hopefully it's back here. Oh man. Hey Belle, have you seen my tripod? I found it. Told you it was noisy. Okay. So to this, I'm going to add these. I used two of my green onions out of the share today, and I just chopped them into little pieces. So I'm gonna throw in about, oh gosh, there's probably three quarters cup of oregano, mostly oregano, some basil. Let's grind this up and then we'll add some oil and nuts. All right, let's throw in, I've got about a cup of sunflowers or a cup minus a teaspoon of sunflower seeds. These are raw, they're unsalted. You can use whatever you want. And by whatever you want, I mean, you can use pecans, you can use pine nuts, you can use walnuts, you could use hazelnuts, I suppose. Uh, any other nut you can think of that you wanna use, almonds would be good. Let's grind this up. how green this is, it's so pretty. I'm also gonna add some salt. I'm using a coarse sea salt. So let's see, there's about a half teaspoon, another half teaspoon. Let's go two teaspoons. That sounds reasonable for how much there is here. You can always add more later and since we have a little more room now, we're gonna go ahead and add our parsley leaves. So this was a huge bunch of parsley that we got today. So if you don't use all of it this week, dry it. And I've got mine hanging up here along with some dill and some oregano. And next week, I'm gonna show you how to make your own ranch dressing mix, just like Hidden Valley Ranch, only homemade and with no MSG. So, score. 
parsley. Oh my gosh, I've almost got too much in here. On we go. By adding some olive oil, we'll kind of condense this down and then that will allow everything to get ground up really good. But I'm gonna give it one more good run and then we'll start adding the oil. And I'm gonna drizzle the oil in while the machine is running. All right, I think we are ready. So the consistency of this you know, it plops off the spoon. It's got a nice little sheen to it. It's not really runny. There's not a lot of oil pooling in here. So it's not like those pestles that you buy in the grocery store that has like, you know, quarter inch of oil on top or whatever before you stir it all in. You can certainly make it like that. I prefer not to. Um, I can, you know, you can always add oil when you're cooking with it, but for these purposes, I like to freeze it and not have the extra oil in there. That way I can just, pack more into my little jars. So in total with the one pound of garlic scapes, I probably used almost two cups of this oil. And this is a olive oil and canola oil mix. I'm gonna taste it just to kind of see how the salt is doing. And the garlic scapes are a little milder than regular garlic, but this can be really hot. Ooh, it's pretty hot raw. So the way I like to cook with this is I'll cook up some vegetables and maybe some meat and then we'll throw this in at the end and let it cook for just a few minutes to kind of heat it up. But what that will also do is it will temper down that hot garlic taste that you will get with this. Otherwise it could be super spicy. So I've got an elk steak in the freezer. Thank you, Cammie. So we're going to have elk with our pasta and garlic skate pesto tonight and brie cheese. I'm actually really excited about tonight's dinner. So I hope you get a chance to play around with your garlic scapes and experiment with them. The pesto is a great way to use it up. So I like to use half pint jars and I also have some of these four ounce jars and I will just cram pesto in here and then cap them, label them, put a date on them and then freeze them. I use them all summer, all fall, all winter. I think I've still got a couple in the freezer that got buried last year. Um, I take these camping. They go on cabin trips with me as you saw in an uh, earlier video that I did when we were cabin cooking. And if you want to subscribe, click the button down below. There will also be a link to the recipes in the description down here so you can find them that way instead of having to go to our website first. So you got options, lots and lots and lots of options. I am merely here for suggestions. That's what I tell my bar students every day. So hope you have a great week. We will see you next Tuesday at the pickup. Bye. Blah, 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 blah. Well, in case you haven't noticed, there has been a vampire invasion in my neighborhood. And so that is why I grow a ton of garlic and eat a ton of garlic. Just kidding. There's no vampires that I know of. Although we have new neighbors moving in today. For all I know, they could be vampires. I have not met them yet. I don't know, even for me, that might be a little bit crazy. And garlic scapes are a flying everywhere. I'll use a, oh, whoopsie. Well, I guess we're done with this guy.